RV people, van lifers, tiny homers, and anyone living in a small space, I have a tip today that you need if you're trying to store more clothes in your space. I'm gonna tell you about the hoodie ball. Happy Sunday, bird watchers! It's Robin with Creativity RV, and today I'm going to give you my hack for storing anything with a hood into a tiny little space. It's so cool that you're going to want to tell all your friends about it. Right, Liz? Hey, Debbie, check this out. This is a game changer. Hey, Paul. Wow, Robin, this is a compact little ball. How many of these can you fit in there? If you follow my channel, you know that I travel full-time in a 16-foot little tiny peanut of an Airstream. And let me give you a look at the closet. Now, there's a bar to hang some stuff, but I might be able to hang one hoodie and a parka in there. So for me, having the hoodie ball is essential. Behind me on the bed, you're going to see a big old stack of hoodies that I'm going to fold like this and show you and then store them in a rope basket at the end of the bed. Now you can see I already have a few hoodies in there, so the bottom is already full, and we're gonna fit the rest of these right on top. You're going to be amazed at how many hoodies I can fit inside of that basket. And think you could just do tiny little skinny hoodies? No, you can do big monster things like this thing that I wear out to the campfire, or a parka, anything with a hood, and this is how you do it. So the tricky part for me is figuring out how to film this so that you guys can actually see how it works. So I'm gonna do it on the dining room table. So put your hoodie face down and then you wanna fold the arm in, fold the other arm in, fold in the side, fold in the other side. Now, you wanna roll it up to the neck. You can do that in one movement, but I like to fold it in half first you know, dealer's choice, do your thing. Then you wanna really tightly roll it up from the bottom up to the hood. And then while it's tight, you turn the hood around so that the inside of it goes in the hood. Then you take the strings and you pull. And then you throw it in the basket. Okay, now let's try it with this big honker. This thing is huge. It would never fit in the closet. Same thing. Fold. Fold. This way. This way. And then tight. Then hood. And then for me, throw it in the basket. Here's a parka. You probably want to zip it up first. Makes it a lot easier. Turn it around. Same thing. With the parka, I like to push out the air a little bit while I'm doing it. It helps. Sorry if the camera's shaking. I am in a tiny, tiny little trailer. Look at that. It's just a little baby. It looks like a pair of socks. Look at that. All those hoodies fit in this basket. Now I can travel in this tiny space and not run out of clothes. I'll put the link for the rope basket below in case you're curious about that. And I'll see you guys again next week with an all new video. Until then, I hope you're all doing well out there. Have happy travels.
and be free. How come you've got two balls? Well, because I, I need two balls. I've got a big ball. Why is your ball flat? I think one ball is enough because it's squishy and I can shape it in any shape I want. Oh, <laughs> you got to feel my ball. <laughs> your ball, your ball's too big. <laughs> this is just right here. <laughs> <laughs> I got big balls and I can't not lie. Oh, your ball's dirty now. Oh shoot. Your ball's your dirty. Your ball's dirty too. Dirty balls. We got dirty oh, we balls. Got dirty balls. <laughs> we got dirty balls. <laughs> my balls. Oh, we gotta clean our balls. <laughs> hey got... you, take that ball! You take it! <laughs>